Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to block users who static their IP address. The reason for this is to prevent users from bypassing your queues. So say for instance you already have queues configured and with speed set for that user based on the IP address, the user could now change their IP address from their PC or their tablet or whatever device they are using and bypass the speed limit that you have set. So I'm going to show you how to prevent that from happening. So based on what we are seeing here, we already configured queues for two users and we are seeing some traffic going through um, the queues. So first thing that you will need to do is in DHCP server for the user that you want to ensure that they can change your IP address you should static um, the IP address from your DHCP server. So this is a different static. This is static from the router itself um, versus static from the user side. So we are going to set a static IP on the DHCP server. What that does is that it ensures that the users, the user or users always get back the same IP address. So for this user, you can double click, make static OK, and now you no longer have the D. So if you double click on that lease, you will see that the lease is static. So I'm going to static these lease. So these two are static. That means that each time the lease expires, it will give back the same IP address. So say for instance we're going to switch over to a user and this user is PC3 and if you look at the IP address is 88.97 so say for instance we go to properties and say use use, a, use um, a static IP. So I'm going to change it to 192. So before we do that, let me show you that the user can browse. So the user can browse. So 192 dot, but you notice it's a bit slower because based on the limit, the limit is quite small. So if you see here the limit is 1 megabits download. That's the limit that is set for this user. So here you notice that it's it's a bit slow because the user is already using up all your bandwidth. So let me just continue with this. 192.168.88.say uh, 105 and gateway and say for instance they're using a google dns okay okay all right look at this so so you notice now everything is loading much much faster and if we look back at our router, we'll see where there's little, there's no traffic really going through this. So now the user has bypassed the queue altogether. So they can actually use this to get more speed from your service. So we're going to block them. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to IP ARP and so you're going to look for the IP address for that user that is in the ARP. Double click on it and select make static. So you realize that it does not have any letters or anything. So it says C stands for complete. 
meaning that the the user is now connected and a, um, a ARP um, address is, is assigned. So what will happen now is that every time this user logs on, this is the address that the ARP will, will supposed to give it. But the problem with this is, is that because the user change your IP address, the say for instance if I it wouldn't at this point wouldn't stop anything from um stop the user from browsing. So the user still can browse even with the IP address that they didn't assign. This can also cause problem in the network like IP conf conflicts. So the next step to block the user is to go to bridge, open a bridge, and select um, read only. So let me show you why. Let me show you why. So let us go back to this. So we have one IP address here that says 97. But if we look here, if we sort it by MAC address, we'll see where there are two IP um, two IP addresses assigned to the same MAC address. So this is what happened is that the bridge automatically assigned um, a ARP to every address that is coming through. So you see where it has this address and another address for the same MAC address. So in the bridge now, we don't want the bridge to be creating any new ARP entries. So these, this one was created, this one, yes, this one was created by the bridge. We don't want that. So what we are going to do is set the bridge to just only read, to read only. So it only can read the ARP that is already um, in the list. Press apply. And it's, and now it has removed the duplicate ARP. So only the ARP that we have made static, the static ARP, that's the only ARP that will be there. Okay. Now we are going to go back to the user. So we can close, put this window over here. All right, so still the user is not using our connection, but let us look if the user can still browse. So it's trying to load. Let us try to open another a website, another website. Nothing. So the user at this moment can't browse because they have changed their IP address. So we have successfully blocked the users from accessing the, the internet and even the network itself. Uh, let me see if this user could actually access the network. So the user could connect by Mac. Uh, let me see if they could connect by IP. No. So they can't connect to your network by IP any at all. The only way that they could connect to a device is by a MAC address. But they couldn't connect with IP because they are not, um, because they have started their IP, we have blocked them. So what would have to happen is that the user would have to go back, change change your IP address from static to auto and they should get back the IP address you get back 97 so they got back the 97 88.97 address so they should be able to browse And right, so they are now able to browse. So if you look back on on our router, we'll see traffic for that user. So if we go to YouTube, we'll go back, we'll see traffic going through for that user. So this is a way that you'll go about blocking users who static their IP addresses. Um, this is very useful uh, 
in terms of protecting your network and also to ensure that um, the speed that you set for each user cannot be bypassed. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.